So in this video help guide, I'm going to show you how to add in an image into your navigation menu. Um, as you can see from the screen in front of you, uh, I have got some images that I have saved into my images folder. And if I just change the layout so you can see them slightly better, I've got some navigation menu button items that I want to put into my top table. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put in this navigation button called home one into my top menu. Now I need to change this view to the list or details view because this is very important because it tells me the type of image that I've got here and knowing the ending of the image is going to be hugely important when you are writing in the HTML code. So I've got that there. I've also got on the Wikispaces page, if I scroll down to the bottom, I have got a help guide here which shows me how to add in images. Here it is, adding in images with the HTML code that's there. Now for the moment, I'm not actually going to put any links on the images, I just want to add in um, the image itself. So once I've got that sorted, I can now go to my Notepad++ and I'm going to add in an image into column one. This is going to be the first column of my navigation menu. So I'm just going to delete the word column one and then using that HTML code I'm going to add in my image. I know it's IMG then SRC for source equals then quotation marks then the name of my folder where my images are and I've called mine images then a forward slash, then the name of my first uh, navigation menu button image, and mine is called home one. And this is the really important bit. I have to add in the ending of the file, and I know it's PNG. It doesn't matter if it's lowercase or capital. I am happy with the size of my image, that so I don't want to change it. So all I have to do now is end with a quotation mark. So there is my code for adding in an image. If I just go back and have a look at it, you can see hopefully it's similar to that. And again, I've not changed the height or the width. Um, I could put in a title here if I wanted to. So let's just do that just to show you what happens. So I'm going to go to here and type in title equals and then uh, quotation mark. And then I'm just going to say home page like that, just as an added way when somebody moves the mouse over. So that's done. I'm going to save this page and then I'm going to go back in and have a look at it here. So I wrote it where column one was. So if I refresh this page, there you go. There's my home button. And if I move my mouse over to it, hopefully, there you go. That's my title bit that sticks there. So I've now made my first button on my navigation menu. So I can add in another button, another button, another button there. And then later on, I can decide whether I want to change the width of the table too. But that's how I've done it. There's the code there. And that's the code that I used by looking at the help sheet, which was down at the bottom of the page. So what you need to do now is go and add in the images for your navigation menu into the top of your page. Good luck.